Okay, next plant is uh, number 112 on your list. This is Cupressus arizonica. So we're going to do uh, two more cypress. This is the Arizona cypress, and we'll uh, do Cupressus macrocarpus. So that'll make three uh, true cypress that we've done. So much like when I, I mentioned in uh, Cupressus sempervirens, that as opposed to what we see in Camocyparis and Thuya, where the, uh, the branchlets are in these flattened sprays, Cupressus, uh, the branches are in sort of three-dimensional. And so you can see that there's a little bit more, um, well, three-dimensional kind of wild branching in Cupressus arizonica. You may be able to, to notice that this plant has a really uh, distinct bluish silvery cast to it. It is variable in Cupressus arizonica and goes all the way from being uh, more of an, in, an, an emerald green all the way to um, cultivars like blue ice that are, um, as the name suggests, they have a very blue silvery look to them. Uh, Cupressus arizonica is extremely drought tolerant um, and uh, it, is, it is also um, aromatic. You can see, um, potentially you can see that it has some male cones out here. Like many of our uh, conifers, it is uh, monoecious and these are the, the small male cones that are producing pollen um, uh, a little bit later. It has large spherical um, uh, cones uh, that will release their fruit and, or uh, release their seed and they do have some horns on the outside of the uh, uh, cone, uh, the bracts of the cones. So anyway, take a look at your slides and, um, and uh, um, uh, that is uh, Cupressus arizonica.